One day, Rajinda Joha, the senior occupational therapist at King George's Medical College in Lucknow, Utah, Uttar Pradesh in India, returned from work to meet the disaster that changed his life forever. He was shot by three men who demanded money from him during a home invasion robbery. After the incident, he was quickly rushed to the hospital for immediate treatment. Unfortunately, on arrival at the hospital, his family and friends were devastated that one of the robber's bullets had irreparably damaged his spine, which meant that he will become paralyzed forever and bedridden. This was a sad time for Joha's family. Joha, however, decided that he wasn't going to spend the rest of his life doing absolutely nothing but sleeping all day, even though that meant that he was going to depend on people a lot to achieve the things he wanted, seeing that he was now bedridden. At this time, his family moved him to Delhi in order to take care of him. According to Joha, I wanted to work in the field of disability as I was an expert in it. However, he couldn't write or walk but he had a special writing pen developed for him. He decided to start a trust called Family of Disabled FOD. Initially, many said, what are you doing? You can't do anything. How will you work? You are totally dependent on others for everything. Eventually, a few people came around to be of help saying, you can't walk, you can't sit, so what can be worse than this? You will only gain. Today, FOD helps the physically challenged and financially disadvantaged seek employment. Richard Branson, British business magnate and founder of the Virgin Group, said something profound about people who are brave. Today, in this video, I'll share with you one of Richard Branson's advice about bravery. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. According to Branson, the brave may not live forever, but the cautious do not live at all. Lana Del Rey said, Being brave means knowing that when you fail, you don't fail forever. T.S. Eliot added that, only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Oftentimes, we restrain from acts of bravery and courage because we concern ourselves with what people will say. We get so conscious that we do not want to be seen as failures should it not work out. Hence, the fear of failure restrains us from unnessing our potentials and making a difference in the world. American songwriter and poet Jim Morrison said, Expose yourself to your deepest fear. After that, fear has no power and the fear of freedom shrinks and vanishes. You are free. When asked how he made it becoming South Africa's first black head of state, the first elected in a fully representative democratic election, Nelson Mandela said, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid but he who conquers that fear. According to El Cordobes, bravery is believing in yourself and that thing nobody can teach you. Bravery is what pushes you to step out of your comfort zone even when everyone else says otherwise. It doesn't mean that you're not scared, it just means you are courageous enough to act in the face of fear rather than chickening out. If you fail to give it a try even in the face, you might spend your life living in fear. Little wonder Branson said, the brave may not live forever but the cautious do not live at all. How to become brave and build courage 1. Examine the situation Fear of the unknown often keeps us from taking those brave steps, right? Well, maybe we should start reducing our uncertainty level in order to be able to launch out. Information is key. Knowledge is power. When you are aware of every possible outcome of an action, you can easily decide the best course of action which is why you should examine a situation as much as you can. That way, your actions will be considered a brave one. Also, bravery doesn't mean taking random risks. It can mean taking calculated risk. To do so, it's important to collect data and expose yourself to anxiety-provoking situations. For instance, say you are scared of heights. You can start by taking small actions every day that will help you overcome the situation. You can start by climbing a ladder and then gradually increase the challenge until you can easily find yourself on a mountain top. 
2. Think of yourself less The more you think about yourself, the more you will get scared to act. When you focus on yourself, on how you feel or when you believe that everyone is watching, you become self-conscious. And when you become self-conscious, you place a limit on yourself because egocentrism ratchets fear up and makes your performance go down. Shift your focus to others. For instance, rather than focusing on how you are perceived by someone new, focus on how they can enjoy a nice time. In the case of a career, business or any other project, focus on the purpose and on the sense of service. It's easier to be courageous on behalf of others than it is for your own sake. Don't forget that. Remember, you feel a sense of value when you have a sense of service to others. 3. Find role models who are brave and courageous Think of people that you admire so much for their bravery and courage and make them your role models because when you are trying to stretch yourself beyond your limit, there's a part of you that will question the possibility. Seeing people who have done or who are doing it will motivate you to keep at it because if they could or can do it, then you can do it too. A role model is a constant reminder that you can achieve what you want to achieve. And when you want to give up, always remember Branson's words, the brave may not live forever but the cautious do not live at all. Remember the few folks that stood by Joha? Remember what they said? You can't walk, you can't sit. So what can be worse than this? You will only gain. It means that according to Branson, being brave might not fetch you long life but it will definitely fetch you a life unlike those who are cautious with no life. The brave may not live forever but the cautious do not live at all. Richard Branson Thank you very much for watching our videos. We would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next but before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.